So my name is Clint Severance. Um, we're in the field here on Vigi Farms, which is uh, in rural Hunter, North Dakota, northwest of Fargo. Our project was uh, grazing cattle on uh, cover crops for the whole summer here. Um, this project came about because I kind of been trying to find a way to get back into cattle since I grew up on a cattle ranch. I was trying to figure out a way that would work. Uh, and I was at a field day of Nick's for his no-till farming and he mentioned he wouldn't mind having cattle on his land. So I started talking to him and kind of hatched this plan to have a rotation where we start out with the cattle on a winter annual cover crop for uh, May and June grazing and then move them over to a spring seeded cover crop of oats and peas. And then at the end, we, the winter annuals would get seeded to a warm season cover crop that will graze in August and September until the water starts freezing. My name is Nick Vingy. Uh, I am the owner operator of Vingy Farms and we are a grain farming operation in the Red River Valley. Uh, we farm about 1,700 acres and in the last five years I've switched over to no-till and using cover crops and we wanted to add cattle into the mix to have that final piece of the puzzle kind of fit with our, our soil health objectives. Uh, when I talked to Clint, one of the things we worked with was trying to figure out how to get cattle here during the summer and not a full year round cattle. So I'd like to, to graze cattle on my, on my farm ground uh, for part of the year and to work with the, the cover crop system, we decided that would be a natural fit to try to graze them on cover crops. I think cover crops for, for me is a fairly natural fit. When going with no-till, uh, a lot of the cover crops have made no-till uh, much easier to work with, a much better system to work with. And then I am getting the benefits of, of having better quality soil. There's no doubt that, that no-till is a, a long-term uh, goal. It's not a quick fix for anything, but I think if you work, work at no-till and work at cover crops, you can you know, over time you're sort of putting equity into a soil bank. You're putting money away for a future generation, hopefully. Um, and that's something that if I can make the land better for my kids than it is for me um, and pass it on to them better than I found it or better than I got it, then, then we're going the right direction. So I, I think it's something that maybe people have to realize that it's a long-term commitment, but there's also big payoffs. They're just a long ways down the road. So I think in our area, five years is kind of a minimum to start seeing the benefits. It's maybe six or seven is more realistic. I'm hoping with the cover crops, we can, we can back that down a little bit, back down to, to five or six. But I think uh, the payoffs are starting to show up already in year five, and, and they're, I'm hoping, only going to get better.